Hey, what's up Team LCPS? Happy Friday to you and what a beautiful fall Friday it is. I'm coming at you today from the 50 yard line here in the jungle. And later tonight, this spot right here is gonna be the place to be. Tonight, we're hosting the Charlottesville Black Knights in what should be a fun and competitive Jefferson District showdown with kickoff scheduled at 7.30. And at tonight's game, we're celebrating Youth Sports Night and Military Appreciation Night. So there's going to be a lot of action you don't wanna miss. For Youth Sports Night, we're going to be recognizing our youth fall teams from all across Louisa County, both before and during the game. This is one of our favorite traditions, and I know there will be a lot of proud parents and community members in the audience tonight. And tonight is also Military Appreciation Night, and what an honor it is to host this event here in the jungle as we recognize the brave men and women who have served our country. First up, we're hosting a cookout inside the jungle at 615 that is for all past and present military service members. Just show up in uniform or have your military ID and we'll get you in for free. Then, during pregame festivities, we will be conducting a few special programs to recognize our military members in attendance. And finally, at halftime, we have a special treat you do not want to miss, a performance by the U.S. Marine Corps Silent Drill Platoon. This will be one of the only times a high school has ever hosted a performance by the Silent Drill Platoon, and let me tell you, it's going to be something special. The Silent Drill Platoon normally performs at NFL games, but tonight, they're bringing their performance here to the jungle, and it's going to be incredible. We look forward to recognizing all our past and present military members in attendance tonight. So as you can see, a lot is happening tonight, so you need to get here early. Youth Sports Night and Military Appreciation Night tonight in the jungle. Be early and be ready for a truly amazing night. And finally, before we get to our MVPs, I just want to give a shout out to all of our students and staff for continuing to do great work. Last week, you probably saw all the photos as we celebrated Constitution Day and hosted Virginia Superintendent of Public Instruction, Jillian Bailo, for a tour of our school division. We were also able to pass out some innovative grants, thanks to our support from our Louisa County School Board. We have something special here at Team LCPS, and all of you out there watching should take a lot of pride in what you've built here in Louisa County. We continue to lead the way. Keep it up, let's work together, and make this one of the best school years ever. All right, now let's get into our main event today, our Team LCPS MVPs. And first up, let's recognize our Community MVP of the Week. And for that, we're headed to the Louisa County Sheriff's Office to recognize Lieutenant Clay Hart. At Louisa County Public Schools, we're proud and thankful for the working relationship we have with the Louisa County Sheriff's Office. Their support is crucial to our success. And recently, Lieutenant Hart took time to speak with our nursing students about how to best assist individuals who are in distress. Nominations for Lieutenant Hart this week mentioned how thankful they were that he took the time out of his schedule to stop by for this valuable lesson. Lieutenant Hart is a graduate of Louisa County High School and we're proud of the community leader he has become. Lieutenant Hart, thank you for building relationships with our students and for all you do to serve our community. We appreciate you and today we're honored to name you our Community MVP of the Week. Congratulations. Okay, next let's name our Classified MVP of the Week and for that we head to Louisa County Public Schools Central Office to recognize Ms. Kathleen Mallory. Around LCPS, Ms. Mallory is known as Ms. Cat, and she always gets the job done. From working at the front desk at Central Office to delivering mail to our schools, she's always working hard. One nomination we received said Ms. Cat is amazing. She's always willing to help those in need. She is the sweetest person who loves to smile and laugh, and she gives 100% to each job she does. Every single part of that nomination is exactly right. Ms. Cat is a special member of our team, and we're so thankful for everything she does. Ms. Cat, thank you for coming to work with a smile and for being a great example for all of us every single day. We appreciate you, and I know you like working behind the scenes, but today we're putting you in the spotlight. You're our classified MVP of the week, and it's certainly well-deserved. Congratulations, and thank you. And now we move on to our certified MVP of the week, and for that, let's go over to Thomas Jefferson Elementary School to recognize Ms. Allison Waggy. Ms. Waggy is a reading resource teacher at TJ, helping students develop a lifelong love of reading. Not only that, but has a positive attitude each day and is a great leader for the instructional team at TJ. One nomination for Ms. Waggy said her knowledge and passion for teaching the science of reading shows and how hard she works to keep our staff educated and to make sure we're all using the best practices in our teaching methods. Ms. Waggy, thank you for your hard work. 
you put in each and every day and thank you for your diligence. We have so many amazing educators here at LCPS and you're one of them. Great job, keep up the great work and congratulations on being this week's certified MVP. Okay, and finally, let's name our student MVP of the week. And this week, the honor goes to Bobcat, Louisa County Middle School, sixth grader, Kayla Barrera. Several nominations we received said Caleb has been demonstrating all of the five C's this school year, but specifically, citizenship. One nomination said Caleb is a model for great student behavior, and he has also helped several classmates out in encouraging them in a helpful manner. Another nomination said he has shown a lot of kindness to others. Stay positive and you'll go far. Caleb, you're a great student and your positive attitude shows that you're also a great person. It's cool to be kind and you know you're spreading kindness all across this campus. Fantastic job. Keep it up and take time to celebrate because this week you're our student MVP. Great job, Caleb. All right, Team LCPS, those are this week's MVPs. Let's run through them one more time. Our Community MVP of the Week, Lieutenant Clay Hart with the Louisa County Sheriff's Office. Our Classified MVP, Ms. Kat Mallory at Louisa County Public School Central Office. Our Certified MVP, Ms. Allison Waggy at Thomas Jefferson Elementary School. And our Student MVP of the Week, Louisa County Middle School 6th grader, Kayla Barrera. There they are, our Team LCPS MVPs of the Week. Be sure to comment below and congratulate them on a job well done. And that's right, that's our episode for this week. Team LCPS, as you head into the weekend, let's all remember to keep our non-negotiables in the forefront in everything we do. Supporting one another, having high expectations, holding each other accountable, being consistent, having that positive attitude, and having that grit it takes to get the job done right. And don't forget, Tonight is a big night right here in the jungle. It's Youth Sports Night and Military Appreciation Night as we take on the Charlottesville Black Knights. We have an appreciation dinner for all military members starting at 6.15 and then the kickoff versus Charlottesville is at 7.30 with a special performance by the U.S. Marine Corps Silent Drill Platoon at halftime. It's going to be a night to remember. So we hope to see you here. Hope you have a great weekend. This beautiful fall weather. Enjoy it. Have a great day. And remember, we are... Team LCPS, and we're one of a kind.